Shalom. Dear brothers and sisters, may the Lord give you peace. Welcome to this series of Daily Dose of Bible Wisdom. Dear brothers and sisters, today I would like to reflect with you on the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Let me read to you from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 16 and 17. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may eat freely of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall die. In the original intention of God, death was not there. Very clearly, the verse mentions, the day you eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall die. Did they listen to the word of God? At the temptation of the serpent, they ate of the fruit of the tree of knowledge, by which they brought upon themselves death. Instead of living in the garden with all the animals and all the creatures and with God in peace, they brought upon themselves death. Can this be reversed? Can human beings acquire the ability to be immortal. Is there any possibility? Yes, there is a possibility. In the Gospel of John, Jesus tells very clearly. Chapter 6, verse 53. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. What Adam and Eve tried to grab, Jesus Christ is giving us freely. That eternal life which they lost, Christ gives us freely. This is the greatest gift that Catholics possess. This is the greatest treasure that the Catholic Church possesses. I know one of my relatives, he was a Catholic. Somebody came and asked him, were you born again? He said, no. Then they took him to their church and they baptized him and said, you are born again. After some time, he had some fight with them. He left that church and joined another church. And they asked him again the same question. Were you born again? He said, yes. Then you should be born again. Then they said, you should be born once again. And it continued. He went church after church after church. And finally, he came to the Catholic Church. Dear brothers and sisters, the Jewish philosopher, Abraham J. Heschel, he says, Man is always faced with the choice of either listening to the snake or to God. If you listen to God, you have life. If you listen to the devil, you die. Let us decide today. Let us listen to the voice of God and live. Amen. Oh, and you like this video, please do share with others. You are sharing the wisdom of the Bible with others. And if you want to watch more videos, go to the left side and click you will have all the videos of the past. Thank you for doing this wonderful work.